Hey food lovers, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today I will be showing you two air fryer recipes that the whole family will enjoy. Let's get started. Our first dish that we will be making is coconut air fryer shrimp. Um, all right, so the first step is we will be using some almond flour. I'll put that into a dish here. And then we're going to season the almond flour with some pink salt, about um, just a few sprinkles here and there. And then some black pepper as well, half a teaspoon or so, whatever your preference is. Okay, so just lightly mix that together. And then in another bowl or shall we dish, you know, yeah, we need two eggs. So let's crack two eggs here. And I'm using two whole eggs, but if you want to use egg whites, by all means, you can do that too. And then we're going to mix that very well. And you want to mix it up very well so that way you break up the eggs. So it doesn't so it's not so like membrane-y like this. And mix it up very well. All right, and then in the third dish, you want to add some shredded coconut, and I'm using unsweetened shredded coconut over here. And then I'm using just plain old soda crackers, just for some extra crunch, but I mean, you can also use panko crumbs or bread crumbs if you'd like. Stir that together. Now, here comes the fun part dipping the shrimp together. Okay, so let me get my air, my trays together. So I'm just gonna lightly spray my tray, just so it doesn't stick. You don't need to, but I always do it just in case. So you wanna grab your shrimp by the tail, and I'm just using large shrimp here. Grab that, you wanna quickly dip it into the coconut flour mixture. Dip it in the eggs, let the excess drip off, and then you wanna coat it into the coconut mixture too. And then you can place it onto the tray. All right, and then you just wanna place your tray into the Pampered Chef air fryer. So I'm gonna put mine on the top shelf over here. And then you wanna set it for, let's do seven minutes. And then at 400 degrees. And then we're going to flip it halfway. And that's it. <laughs> okay, so, I know that the, some families have picky eaters, right? And my kids don't always eat what I eat, so I'm going to prepare a second dish, which is just chicken quesadillas. So simple, so easy, so delicious. I always have these wraps on hand, just because it's so convenient for the kids' lunches. Um, and I always have cut up chicken breast in my fridge too, and every time I need a snack or a meal prep, it's always, it, it always comes in handy, so I always have that. The first thing you wanna do is just add your chicken breast to your quesadilla. And I'm actually using a chickpea flour quesadilla, but of course you can use any type of tortilla if you want, like a, a flour one, or I think there's some like protein wraps too, whatever one you like or whatever you can find in the store. And then I'm actually going to add some salsa on top of the chicken, just so it's not so dried out. And I'm using medium salsa here but you can add any salsa you'd like, or you can just even add cut up tomatoes, whatever you have on hand. But I like salsa. And then I'm going to add some, just some chopped up white onions, just for some crunch. If you want some more spice, I have some jalapenos in here too. So we'll add a couple here, not too much, because I don't know how spicy RJ would like his quesadilla. We'll just add a couple. And then we're gonna add some cheese. So just add a sprinkle, not too much. Let's go a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now the trick here, what you want to do is, I actually use a toothpick, just to fold it over, just so that it stays in place, because you want it to kind of close, right? And then I actually just lightly spray it with Pam, just to give it some color. Nothing too crazy, just a little spray, and then that's it. So let's go pop this inside the air fryer. Let's actually see how our uh, coconut shrimp are doing. Okay, well let's pop this inside first. Put that in 
there. And then, let's go. Oh, this looks good. Okay, so I'm going to be making just a quick sauce for the coconut shrimp. It's super easy. All we're using is just a quarter cup of lime juice. So put that into a little bowl, quarter cup. And then we need a quarter cup of honey as well. So let's do that over here. Of course, if you don't want to use honey, you can use any other sweetener you'd like. You can use coconut sugar, or you could use uh, agave syrup. You could use stevia, whatever you'd like. Okay, so there's my honey. And then you can put some chili inside or some pepper flakes. But you know what? I think I want to put some chili. I'm just going to add a little bit of chili just to give it some heat. Not too much. But I also just want a little bit of heat. But I actually don't want to touch this here. So let's put that in here. You want to stir that together. Make sure it's well incorporated. And then we're actually going to put in just a little bit of cilantro as well. I like cilantro in my foods and I think it makes it makes your food look really pretty. So just add a little bit of cilantro. Okay. Alright. There we go. Let's see how our food is doing. Our shrimp looks good. Let's take that out. And I think our quesadilla just needs like another three minutes. There, so let's go and plate this. Look at that. Oh, there's Jet. Jet, come here. Okay, I think our quesadilla is done. Oh, it is done. Perfect, look at that. Okay, so let's take the toothpick off. Okay, so here is our quesadilla. That took me literally five minutes to prepare. And how I like to serve it is with some medium salsa. Let's add that to the side here. And then you can use sour cream, but I'm actually using just plain skier yogurt. It, I find that it's not as sour as uh, Greek yogurt. And there's actually lots of protein in here, so I use this as my sour cream. So we're going to add just a couple tablespoons. And there you guys have it, two meals using the air fryer that took me literally minutes to prepare. I have my coconut shrimp with a side of my honey lime dressing, as well as my chicken quesadilla. Thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Bye now.